everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the Intimidating TBR tag. So this is going to be the first tag I have done in the year 2017. I set my goal for this year to do at least one tag video a month, and I did not do that in January. So I'm starting off February hopefully strong in doing this tag, and I've been wanting to do this tag for a while. So pretty much the goal of this tag is to go through your tag, uh, your bookshelves, excuse me, and answer these questions just based off of what they say, and I thought this would be really fun. I'll link the original creator's uh, video down below, so you guys can go check that out. So the first question of this tag is, a book on your TBR pile that you've been unable to finish. Now, most of you guys, if you are new to my channel, you'll probably be surprised I have not read this, but I will explain in a second. That book is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. So I actually started reading this way back in the day, back when I think it was in either 7th or in 8th grade. It was just coming out. And it was this big, huge thing. I actually started it. I think I got maybe four or five chapters in and just put it down and never got to pick it back up. Obviously, now I love dystopian novels. I love Divergent. I've seen all the Hunger Games movies, and I do really want to read the books. It just has never... Uh, I've never had the courage to pick it up, and I'm not sure why, but I'm hopefully going to get to it this year because I really do want to read it. Um, and see what my thoughts are compared to the book to the movie. Question number two is a book you have just not had the time to read. So for the, me, this is going to be Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by J um, J.K. Rowling, John Tiffany, and Jack Thorne. Now, this book has been out since last July, and I got it in the mail like two weeks after it came out, and I just never had the time to pick it up. I was really busy with school. And I just never picked it up. I still want to read it. I know there's so many kind of mixed reviews about this, but I still really want to um, read it and hear my thoughts. Because it's Harry Potter. Harry Potter is a huge part of my life, as many of you guys know. And I really want to see how this book kind of ties into the uh, normal series of Harry Potter. Question number three is uh, a book you have not been able to read because it's a sequel. So for me, this is going to be Allegiant by Ron Garoth. This is the third book, uh, third and final book in the Divergent trilogy. I have been meaning to read this since November when I actually read the, well, we read Divergent and read Insurgent. Um, and just, again, I've never had the time to pick this one up as well. Um, but I really want to see how the series concludes. I know there's a lot of mixed reviews about this one as well. A lot of these books on my VR for this tag, I will tell you there are mixed reviews about. Um, but i seen part one of the movie. I heard there's going to be part two, but I'm not sure if it's confirmed. And I really do want to see how it wraps up before the second part of the movie comes out, if it ever comes out. <laughs> Question number four is a book you haven't read because it's brand new. So this book came out last month. You guys have seen either of my hauls. It's Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. This is another one that has really mixed reviews. Um, I know it's kind of controversial, but this is actually my one of my most um, anticipated releases of this year. I just haven't had the time to pick it up. Hopefully I'll pick it up before the end of the month. And yeah. Question number five. Yeah, question number five. A book by an author... You have read previously, but didn't really like. So for this question, I actually don't have an answer because usually when I buy books, I if I'm picking up a book by an author I previously read, I usually really like that author. And if I haven't read their or I've read their books before and haven't liked them, I usually won't pick it up. So I don't have an answer for this one. Question number six is a book on your TBR pile that you're just not in the mood for. So that for me, that is going to be A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. I love Sarah J. Mass. I love Throne of Glass so much when I read it back in October. Um, I just haven't had the time or really have been in the mood for fantasy or uh, retellings in general. Um, I do want to read the first two books before the third book comes out in May. I own them both on my shelves. I just have not had the time, just not in the mood for it, um, but hopefully I'll pick it up soon. The next book is a book on your TBR pile that you haven't read because it's enormous. And for me, that's going to be uh, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, another classic works by Lewis Carroll. Uh, another one of my goals for this year, if you guys have seen my goals video, which I'll have a link down below, um, is three more classics. I think I had my goals set at three, um, so this is one that has been on my TBR for a while now, even before I started Booktube, I wanted to read Alice in Wonderland. 
Um, so I want to read this as soon as possible. I think I'm going to read it probably around Easter, so probably April, because I think it would be very appropriate. Uh, I'm not sure what to think going into it, because I've seen all the adaptations of the movie. And, yeah. So, a question number eight is a book on your TBR you bought because of the cover. I don't have an answer for this one as well, because I don't really buy books that are based off of the cover. I usually base it off synopsis or what I've heard in the booktube or um, book blogging community, so I don't have an answer for this one. And same kind of, same kind of goes for the next question, which is a the book on your TBR that you find the most intimidating. I was going to say Outlander for this one, but I've already read it, so um, now it's off the, that's off the list. Um, so I don't have an answer for this one. Uh, if I think of anything, I'll be sure to mention it in another video. But yeah, so this is all I'm going to have for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have all my social media links linked down below if you guys would like to check them out. As, well as, as well as videos mentioned, I, I mentioned in this video that will also be linked down below. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So be sure to subscribe if you have not already to see more from me. I would love to have you part of my family. And I'll see you guys on Friday for another video. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you then. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye.